Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about C-reactive protein, the structure of C-reactive protein, function and its clinical significance. If you are new to this channel, please press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified. C-reactive protein or CRP was discovered by Tillett and Francis in 1930. The name CRP came because uh, it was first identified as a substance in the serum of patients with acute inflammation that reacted with the C carbohydrate antibody of the capsule of pneumonococcus. So it was identified as a substance in the serum of patients that binds to the carbohydrate moiety uh, of the uh, pneumonococcus bacteria. CRP is an acute phase uh, reactant. It is a pentameric protein synthesized by liver and uh, its level increases in response to inflammation. CRP uh, is an acute phase reactant as mentioned earlier that uh, the protein that is primarily induced by interleukin-6, the action on the gene responsible for the transcription of CRP during the acute phase of inflammatory or infectious process. So the interleukin-6 triggers the production of CRP. So let's see what are the causes of increased uh, CRP levels. The persistently elevated CRP level can be seen in uh, chronic inflammatory conditions such as uh, chronic infections or rheumatoid arthritis. So that is an inflammatory disease. And there are numerous causes uh, for an elevated C-reactive protein. So these include uh, acute or chronic conditions and uh, these can be infectious or it can be non-infectious. Markedly elevated uh, levels of CRP are most associated with infectious cause. Compared to the erythrocyte sedimentation rate or the ESR, uh, ESR is an indirect test for inflammation. The levels of CRP rise and fall rapidly with the onset and removal of inflammatory stimulus respectively. Erythrocyte sedimentation rate is an indirect measure for uh, inflammation and that can last for around a week time. But um, the levels of uh, CRP can go up and high in a short period of time uh, like 7 hours or something like that. The level of CRP uh, increase increase in the level of uh, CRP shows some kind of uh, inflammation. Coming to the structure of C-reactive protein, uh, the CRP consists of 5 identical non-glycosylated subunits of 23 kilodalton that associate form a disc shaped structure. Uh, it's a pentameric structure that leads to the, uh, that leads to the family name uh, pentraxin. So the CRP is synthesized uh, by liver and uh, this the function of crp include uh, protecting against foreign organism and in assisting the clearing of tissue debris so the immune response can trigger the liver to produce uh, crp and that can activate the complement pathway coming to the functions of crp crp binds a variety of compounds in presence of calcium these include uh, polysaccharide present in many bacteria fungi and protozoans Phosphoryl-choline, uh, phosphatidylcholine such as uh, lecithin and uh, polyanions such as nucleic acid. In the absence of calcium, CRP binds uh, polycations such as histones. The complexion of CRP activates the classic complement pathway starting at uh, C1Q and initiating open opposinization, phagocytosis and uh, lysis of invading organisms such as the bacteria and viruses. CRP also helps to clear uh, tissue debris from the damaged tissue. Let's look at the clinical significance of CRP. CRP is one of the strongest uh, reacting acute phase uh, reactants with uh, plasma concentration rising dramatically after the myocardial infarction, uh, stress, trauma, infection, inflammation, surgery and cancer. So all of these can lead to increase in the uh, CRP levels. The CRP measurements are uh, used as an indicator uh, of inflammatory process and uh, and they are used to assess the activity of disorders such as uh, rheumatoid arthritis and the Crohn disease. It is not very specific to certain condition but it is very sensitive so if the levels of uh, CRP is elevated that means there is uh, some kind of inflammation going in the body. CRP levels and the measurement methods. The high concentration of uh, CRP in inflammatory states are measured with a direct immunoturbidimetric or immunoinflammatory uh, assays using the antibodies to CRP. The assays to measure basal CRP level in healthy subjects usually require a different technology to achieve the lower limits of detection. So the, uh, these assays are called the high sensitive C-reactive protein assays or the HSCRP assay and this include uh, the particle enhanced uh, immunoturbidimetry or nephlometry. The other tests include sandwich immunoassay with fluorescence or chemiluminescent detection. The CRP level, so coming to the CRP level, uh, presence of uh, CRP level and the risk of cardiovascular disease. So this is done uh, using high sensitive 
CRP and uh, less than 1 mg per liter indicates low risk for cardiovascular disease whereas uh, 1 to 3 mg per liter shows intermediate risk whereas th greater than 3 mg per liter shows high risk for the cardiovascular disease hope you are clear with this topic if you like the video please press the like button and share it with your friends thank you